Hi, I'm Tamara, and today I am going to walk you through five different books that I found at my local library that are more modern quilt inspired. So if you love making quilts or you're even interested in making quilts, but you want to find some quilts that will inspire you to do a modern look, then these books are for you. All right, so our first book that we are going to look at is this one here. It's called Wonder Wanderlust. It's called Wanderlust. Wanderlust Quilts by Amanda Leans. Modern projects inspired by classic art and architecture, which I really like that spin on things. So the cool thing about this book is it will show you some fun different ideas for making quilts, but it also goes outside the box, the literal box of a quilt. So you can have quilts that actually have fun and interesting edging. This one is your regular style quilt, but with a modern twist, which I quite like that. And they've got, I wanna find this one here. This one, so this is a baby quilt, but it's that out of the box thinking. So you've made yourself a quilt, but it doesn't have to have those outside straight edges. So I really like how she takes architecture and turns it into some fun modern quilt designs. Playing around with different colors, different fabric, but solid fabric, because then you can really see your design stand out. So anyways, that's book one. And then we have book two, which is called Trade Quilts. And again, this book leans towards the shapes that the quilt is making, not so much the outer edge. The outer edge are all straight, but the um, fabrics are often solid. And and then he walks you through, oh, this one. This I want to make this one so bad, and I don't want to make it as a quilt so much as a wall hanging like what he has here. This is such a beautiful and simple quilt, and when you see how he makes it, it's so simple. So I think that this book is really inspiring as far as trying to find ways to quilt that are maybe out of the norm. So it's definitely a specific type of, say, modern quilting, but if you are looking for new inspiration, check this book out. Next we have Savor Each Stitch Studio Quilting. This one is by Carolyn Friedlander. I don't know if I mentioned, the last one was by David Butler. And the first one, Amanda Leans. I will have everything linked in the description down below. So if you're interested in any of these books, check that link out. This book is fun because it doesn't go through just quilting, but it goes through techniques that are different and it goes through different things that you can make that are different. So there's some interesting ideas as far as quilting ideas go, like this right here. It's all one fabric, but it's just how they stitched it to make it stand out. It looks so cool. I love that. This one, how to add circles within. Um, obviously that's not so much a quilt as a wall hanging. This one here is a quilt. So if you are looking for some inspiration and different ways to quilt, I guess that's what this entire little video is for, is finding ways to inspire you and use quilting in a different way. This book is definitely one of those. Now these last two are not so much finding new ways to quilt, but actually new ways to make old quilts. So this one is called Double Wedding Ring Quilts, and it's uh, Traditions Made Modern. So actually the one on the cover is my favorite. So it takes your traditional wedding ring quilts and changes them. So you you kind of move from that white and you gradiently, is that, is that the word? you you. I don't know how you say it. It gradiently moves to red or it adjusts, it sh fades. That's the word. Oh my word. Okay, so it fades nicely to red. I really like how she's done that. So this entire book is all about one type of quilt, but turning it into some fun modern designs. So you can see how she's adjusted one type of quilt and made, here it is. This is my favorite one and adjusted it so that it goes from looking traditional to having a more modern spin on things, which I love. So anyways, this book here is, if you're interested in those double wedding rings, but doing them a little differently, check that one out. And lastly, here I have Cabin Fever, 20 Modern Log Cabin Quilts. So again, it's using an old, fairly traditional technique and finding new ways to make that quilt. So definitely check that book out as well. If 
you found this tutorial helpful or this little mini book review helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss future tutorials. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Happy sewing! Bye!